As we all know, on Saturday, April 14th, the US, UK, and France launched airstrikes on Syria in response to the reported use of chemical weapons a week earlier. The strikes were limited, only targeting three suspected chemical weapons related sites. The Barza Research and Development Center in northern Damascus, located just across the street from the Higher Institute of Applied Science, and two sites west of Homs, one said to be a chemical weapons bunker, the other a chemical weapons storage facility. In total, 105 cruise missiles were launched in the attack, 66 Tomahawks, 19 Jasm ERs, 8 Storm Shadows, and 9 Scalp EGs, and 3 Missile Croziers, the last two being derivatives of the Storm Shadow. Just a couple hours after the attack, the Russian and Syrian government claimed that the Syrian air defenses shot down 71 of the 105 missiles. Other sources have different figures, some saying that only 13 were intercepted, and the US stating that none of them were shot down at all. So which one is correct? I also think it's worth noting the Russian Ministry of Defense seems to claim that the Syrian air defense shot down missiles that targeted Syrian air bases, despite the US and its allies saying that no air bases were targeted. First, what kind of air defenses does Syria have that could have shot down these missiles? The US, Russia, and Syria have all stated that neither Russia directly nor any Russian-operated hardware participated in the defense of Syria. That leaves weapons only the Syrian government owns. It is extremely difficult to know exactly what and how many of each type air defenses that the Syrian government operates due to the ongoing civil war. I've recently started going through the satellite imagery of Syria and mapping all the surface-to-air missile sites, but a lot of the imagery is several years old and may not reflect the current reality. Also, as a side note, if you're interested in helping mapping or getting access to these files, come join the Discord. All the files we put together are freely available for anyone interested. I have a link to the Discord in the description. Most of Syria's air defense systems are older Soviet-era systems, like the S-75, S-125, S-200, and the Buck. They also operate a few dozen of the newer, more advanced systems like the Pantsir S-1, a short-range system specifically designed to shoot down cruise missiles like those used in the strike. Also, Syria is known to operate numerous AAA guns. However, Syria said that the majority of interceptions were done with the S-125, 200, and the Buck. The cruise missiles used fly low, close to the ground, to make detection and targeting of them much more difficult. Also, the path these missiles flew does give them some terrain cover. The legacy systems like the S-75, 125, and 200 are not designed to intercept these low-flying cruise missiles, but technically it is possible. The Buck would be more capable, and the Pantsir S-1 most capable of all. Also, you have to be really cautious when looking at the footage. Many people right now are posting video from other conflicts, including Ukraine, and claiming it to be video of the strike. But from what can be seen in videos known to be from the strikes, there is no proof that any of these missiles were successfully shot down. Instead, they mostly show anti-aircraft artillery and surface-to-air missiles firing straight into the air, and not maneuvering or adjusting whatsoever to hit any targets. This is not to say that there were definitely none that were shot down, but from everything I've seen, I do not see any evidence of any successful interceptions. Another indicator of how successful Syrian defenses were would be pictures of the missile debris. The majority of surface-to-air missiles have what is called a blast fragmentation warhead. This means that the warhead detonates when it is close to the target, throwing metal fragments or rods out in a conical pattern to increase the odds of hitting the target. Evidence of such a hit on the missile would be very clear. And if there were 71 missiles shot down, there should be plenty of images of debris showing such damage. Instead, I have yet to see any pictures of downed missiles, except for the surface-to-air missiles themselves. The Russian Ministry of Defense has actually gone into some detail about specifically what weapons were used and how many. However, they have not released any evidence to support their claims. This also wouldn't be the first time Syria, and by extension Russia, have made clearly exaggerated claims. Last year during the US strike on the Shirat Air Base, Russia quickly claimed that only 23 of the 59 missiles fired actually hit their targets. However, again, not releasing any evidence of this claim. Later, when detailed satellite imagery of the base became available, it was clear that there were many more than 23 individual impacts visible. Also, Syria often claims that it shoots down an Israeli aircraft nearly every time Israel conducts an airstrike in Syria, again though giving no evidence to support their claims. And on Tuesday, April 17th, just three days after this attack, the Syrian government again claimed that they came under attack and that they successfully shot down all the missiles. However, a few hours later, they claimed that there actually were no missiles incoming at all, and said the US and Israel conducted an electronic attack, which made them think missiles were incoming. And that brings me to my last point. It is almost impossible to know for sure if a missile was successfully intercepted so quickly after an attack. 
let alone the exact number. 71 is a very precise number they've given. Not 70, not 72, but 71. Such detailed information is typically only known after a thorough analysis, which can take several days. An example of this is the Scud missiles Iraq launched at US bases during the first Gulf War. The number of successful intercepts was said to be over 97% by the US. Later detailed analysis, however, painted a much different picture. So it might be true that Syria shot down 71 missiles. It is possible. But I have not seen any evidence whatsoever to prove that this is true. The people making this claim, Russia and Syria, have not presented any proof. The only so-called evidence that they've given is that they believe the US would not use 70 plus missiles to hit one site. So I am extremely skeptical about this claim. But if evidence does present itself in the coming days, or even if any of you have any evidence, I'd be more than happy to take a look at it.